Hello everyone and welcome to the official SWGT YouTube channel. My name is Sarusa. Today we're going to take a look at SWGT update 5.5.0, which is a big update to the SpeedTick bracket calculator. It's been well over 200 hours in the making, and I'm very excited to release it, so let's take a look. There are two primary ways to get to the SpeedTick Backup Calculator. The first is under the Tools menu, under the SpeedTick Backup Calculator menu, of course. And then the next one is going to be under the Team Builder, which I'll show in a little bit. Once you're here, you'll see that the SpeedTick Backup Calculator has been enhanced quite a lot. Uh, in the previous version, there weren't all these tabs and there weren't all these functions. So let's take a look and dive in. The Monsters tab has the Sky Totem and the Speed Leader of your team, as well as the enemy team. The Attack Bar per Tick, which we'll talk about in a little bit and the sort by. Uh, under sort by, you can sort by the order in which you added them. You can sort by the attack speed with a buff, without a buff, or just normally. The next one here is a monster dropdown, which is where we're going to be adding in monsters. The next tab up at the top is the advanced tab. This shows the monsters that I've entered into the tool. You'll see that, there are, that I can add up to five monsters on my team and five monsters on their team. You'll see that there are our ticks going across. You'll see that there are attack bar boosts. There's a speed modifier section and a section for additional speed. And we'll talk more about these as we continue along the tutorial here. Turn order uh, is going to be empty for right now because I haven't added any monsters. I'll show that off in a little bit. The tick view, same thing. And saves as a function that allows you to save all your work that you have done here. The FAQ gives some, some general information about the tool, what everything is. And actually, while we're here, let's talk about ticks. So you're probably asking yourself, well, what's a speed tick? So Summoner's War is a turn-based game. It works effectively like a clock. You have a tick and a talk, right? And so essentially, every monster in the game uh, starts off at speed zero. And based on the type of content that you're playing, whether you're playing normally or you're playing RTA or, or RTA, there are different attack bar increases that happen on every single tick. So essentially, every monster is getting a, a specific amount of attack bar based on their attack speed. And so when a monster hits 100%, Based on their priority and turn orders, that monster essentially takes a turn. Another interesting thing is that when a monster takes a turn, their attack bar goes to zero, and then they apply their skill. So for instance, if you have a Tiana, Tiana, if you actually watch the in-game animation, when she takes her turn on skill three, for instance, her attack bar will actually go to zero, and then she boosts. So she's actually getting a speed attack bar boost 30% on her turn for herself, actually. So it's actually quite interesting. All right, so enough about speed ticks and math. You guys can read all the FAQ if you so choose. Let's take a look at some actual monsters. And my favorite way to use the speed tick calculator is to use it with Team Builder, so I don't have to go through and type all my monsters in and all the, of the runes and artifacts. So let's go through and take my Sonya team, for example. And so when I'm in here in my Sonya team, I can actually click on the speed tick calculator, and it automatically loads everything. And by everything I mean, it'll actually load the speed lead based on uh, me Yang. It'll also load all of the speed from runes as well as my artifacts as well. And so you'll see that... I have three units here, right? And so my favorite way to use this tool is to add in my same monster, for instance, Adriana. We're gonna add it, and we're gonna change the team to the enemy. We're gonna make sure that we have the same speed lead, and we're gonna enter in the same amount of speed. So one thing that you can notice and, and you can tell, if you take your own defense into your own offense, you can see that the offense actually takes a, a first turn. And that's because of based on priority and, and just overall how the actual game works for mechanics. And so under advanced, you can now see that my Adriana goes first and then the enemy goes second. And so uh, another interesting thing you can see here is that uh, the, the attack bar is actually well above 100%. And that's because attack bars can technically overfill as well. Since we're here as well, we can go through and add on the, the speed modifier. Something I talked about earlier is that the monsters apply their skills after they take their turn. So that means that Adriana is a tick four so when she applies her skills, her skill will apply in tick five. So for instance, her speed modifier, when we go through and boost, I'm gonna click on the roller icon here, which will allow me to apply the speed boost AOE to my entire team, and just one click. And now they're getting a, a speed boost. And you'll notice that my Sonya is still not going before the Adriana on the enemy team. That's because I've actually mistuned my team. My Sonya actually needs to be increased by one speed Another interesting thing is because SWGT takes into consideration artifacts, if I were to say add on an artifact boost here, that can actually move my Sonya first too. So artifacts play a big role as far as the overall math and speed ticks and everything else on, on how all of that works. 
So that's just one example here. Uh, I can, of course, go through and tweak these as well. So let's say that after this turn, uh, actually it got stripped and then she had a speed debuff applied. So you can click on the individual cell for the individual monster. You can do all the speed tuning for um, whether it be the enemy team. So you can apply a 30% minus here. Uh, you can actually enter in a custom value. So if there's something weird in the game, like um, for instance, for attack bar modifications, if you have a Tian Lang on the field, you can go through and add on all of those custom values as, as well. You can also go through and fill out until the end. So another neat thing is that you can actually fill uh, for multiple turns too. So you click on the roller icon for your team, you're gonna speed buff, right? So you're gonna add in 30% and I wanna fill, let's say until the end of, of the match. So now this will actually go through and fill all the way until the end of the match. And I've made quite a mess of my speed modifier table here. So let's go through and clear it. Just one click, very simple, right? Um, but typically what you're gonna end up seeing is you're gonna see speed modifiers on multiple ticks, right? Because it's because the speed boost only lasts for, for three turns, right? So typically you can go through and just go and add your 30% speed modifier there. The bottom section for additional speed allows you to do modifiers for monsters like Alsharion, Chilling, and Miles. If you read the in-game monster description for their skills, you'll see that, for instance, Elsharion gets five extra speed for every buff stolen and applied to their allies. And then monsters like Miles, they get an extra 5% five, 5 speed. So whether you click on the additionals or you click on the roller bar, you can go through and do all of those scenarios. And again, you can fill all the way until the end, or you can fill up to certain ticks. So you don't have to go through and click everything. So let's take a look at a monster booster team. Let's go into Team Builder, and I'm going to find my team for Grogan. Speed tick bracket calculator, and we're gonna go to advance. And so you'll see that my Tiana is a tick five. And so that means I'm gonna be applying an attack bar boost in the sixth tick. So I'm gonna choose 30% attack bar boost, and you see that all of these speeds move up. So that's an example there of an attack bar booster. So really great tool, lots of functionality. You can go through and tweak your speed from runes up here if you so choose, if you wanna see like what happens if I speed things up or slow things down. Another nice way that you can technically do things, uh, if we clear it, Let's take a look at, let's say, a Draco team, Draco, and then let's add in Kali, and then let's add in Garo. And let's add in another Draco as well for the enemy team. And let's go through and make the speed leads 30%. Let's assume that they have the same speed lead that I do. We'll put everything on Swift. And let's say we make our Draco 200 speed. Let's say they make their enemy 200 speed. All right, so let's take a look at the turn order. So first and foremost, our Draco is gonna be a speed tick five, which means that he'll be applying a speed bar boost of 30% in his sixth tick. Next, we know that he's gonna be doing a speed buff of 30%. So let's do it for the next few ticks because it's only for one turn. Okay, so now we have our scenario lined up. And so now we can go through and we can add speed to Kali and Garo until we get the turn order that we're looking for. This will allow us to find out what the minimum speed is that we need for our units to make the turn order work. And then fast forwarding a few button clicks later, you can see the speed tuning that actually makes out so that we have a Draco go, go first and then a Kali and then a Garo. Before I forget, if we go under the monsters tab and we go to attack bars per tick, um, there are three different ki ty kinds of ticks. There is RTA ticks, raid ticks, and then essentially everything else. So RTA ticks are broken up into 1.5% attack bar per tick uh, versus for instance, raid is actually a 4.5 and normal is, uh, is 7.0. So actually based on the content type, your speed tuning actually may have to be tweaked accordingly. So really powerful tools, lots of functionality. I'm really excited to bring this to the community. It's been a long time coming. It's been a lot of hours invested and I have had so many people been asking for me to build this. And one last thing is I'm pleased to announce that this tool is actually free to use for all users. You don't even have to even be logged in or even have an account on SWGT. And that's it for today. I just wanted to say thank you to all the Patreon members who subscribe to SWGT and to all the people that constantly give feedback about the platform. Uh, you know, it, it's only through your support and efforts that SWGT is what it is today. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. We all make SWGT better together. And with that, don't forget to smash those like buttons and I'll see all of you on the battlefield.